वक्त था वक्त मसीहा न किसी और का वक्त मैं नाता तो कोई और ही آیاسٹ <laughs> We're not, we're not legend out here, we're, we're men, uh, so nothing to hide here. So inshallah, try and try and turn your cameras on, please. Yes, Saqib, please let's, let's um, know what book you're covering today, and then um, inshallah we'll learn something from you as well. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, the book that I've chosen for this week is um, uh, The Heavenly Decree by the Promised Messiah. Um, it was published on December 9, 1892, and the... Uh, The title of the book shows it is sort of an invitation towards the, to the readers um, invitation to all those who think in this same in this in the like manner be they movies uh, sufis or the peers of the religious leaders to a divine decision and it also shows that the truth about their previous discussions Hazrat, Hazrat says that these are the people who have dubbed him a kafir a non-believer liar irreligious, faithful, faithless, the doomed and far away from the men of God. At the very outset, the Prophet Messiah um, addresses Mulvi Nasir Hassan, reminding him um, that he's also in the, uh, that he also is not free from the fatwas of Kafir. And in fact, he is considered to be the greatest of all the Kafirs. Um, Uh, the Promised Messiah referring to the other books. Uh, the Promised Messiah refers to the books of Brahani Ahmadiyya and Surma Shams Ariya and says that anybody who would read these books would certainly be convinced that uh, the writers is a great companion of Islam and is greatly interested in the establishing the grandeur of the Holy Prophet. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and his hearts to the people. Um, Having mentioned these uh, signs of the, of the true and perfect believers, the Promised Messiah Islam, says that he is prepared, uh, he is prepared heart and soul to prove as against Mulvi Nasir Hussain and, and others that these things are to be found in him uh, while they're devoted, devoid to these things. Uh, he gives some uh, detailed explanation as to show these proofs could be supplied. It, it was like a deal that he, he wanted to um, wanted to hold. Um, uh, in his own words, first, that the perfect believer frequently receives uh, glad tidings of Allah, i.e. he is given good news of the fulfillment of his own desires or those of his friends. Uh, second, that each hidden matters are revealed to him as, as relate only to himself to, and to those connected with him. connected with, with with him but such a chosen believer is also made uh, con- cognizant of the divine decree that is going to manifest itself in the world or of those uh, things that are going to befall some eminent people of the world third the most declared that most prayers of these perfect believers and find acceptance and the news of their acceptance of doctrine given beforehand The fourth and last one, that the perfect believers is granted more uh, than anyone else, the comprehension of the finer points and the deeper meanings of the Holy Quran, as well as its subtleties and wondrous characters. The book closes in a notification uh, of, to the effect that the annual conference to be held every year on the 27th and the 29th of December. This notification was issued on the 30th of December, 1891, and the Promised Messiah says that his followers should meet on the 27th Uh, of December of next year and they should meet for three days. As for these meetings, he says that his followers should uh, get together to be in his company, to listen to his spiritual talk and talk and join in collective prayers. Jazakallah. Um, Jazakallah, Saqib. Brilliant. Um, so that's another book, Heaven Decree Done. Um, Heaven Decree is an incredible book, not too long as well. Um, but uh, try have a read of that and it's so nice having the Promised Science book back again I know we didn't do it last month because so many 
have so many K talks organized, but um, I try to squeeze it in this week. 